Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. How are you? Sending you the purest of love and light. God is for us. Who can be against us? Always, you're blessed, you're highly favored, you're anchored, you're protected. Remember, we are stars. They cannot stop us from shining. So with that, welcome. If it's your first time returning, Soul Tribers, thank you so very much for your love and your support. Really, truly, I do appreciate you. Thank you very much. So the first card we have here, it says, I can do all things through Christ. So maybe this is something that you need to affirm within yourself, that you can do all things through Christ. With Christ, you can do all things. There are no limitation. You know, all caps off, no barrier. It's like, don't allow your fear to talk you out of your future. Is having this confidence, believing that, again, God is for you. And because he's for you, who can be against you? Again, not being afraid to start or try anything in life. Because he didn't say the weapons won't form. But what he said is that they, they will not prosper. So whatever the desires, the dreams that you have, and you know, you pray about it, God said yes and amen, you need to move on it. And not allow fear to talk you out of your blessings, okay? And then we have from the pit to the palace. So we know, for those of you, the story about joseph and all his brothers because they were jealous of him they were envious his father preferred him you know he had his beautiful robe he got wonderful dreams and he was so glad to share his dreams with his big brothers and because of that they hated him they hated him because i believe that dream when he dreamt he told them that they were bowing bowing down at his feet and i think that probably even triggered them even more so it's important that whatever it is that you're working on sometimes i know we're excited and we want to share it with others but we have to be very careful to conceal it because people will try to abort your mission and his brothers, I mean, they, they thought about the weirdest things from taking his life. It's like the least thing that they could come up with, which is just as bad, was to throw him in a pit, sold him into slavery. Then they put his, his robe that his dad gave him because his dad loved him. He gave him that beautiful robe. And they put it in blood and took it home, you know, to make it seem as if he was eaten by a wild animal. So again, even the people that you share blood with, you have to be very careful because they want you to stay in the pit. They don't want you to make it to the palace. So you need to be very careful. You see a person's face, you don't know their heart. And so... When it comes to your dreams, your gifts, your talents, your abilities, you have to really guard, protect those, protect those with everything that you have. And you will fear no evil. You will fear no evil. Again, don't allow fear. To block you from your future because at the end of the day when you're looking back on your life again a lot of what ifs I mean even now I believe a lot of us certain opportunities came our way and we did not take full advantage of it and you're probably even having resentments right now what if I had you know it's like you're one step away one step away from either stepping into your blessing or you're one step away from your, you know, from pretty much renege. 
having resentment. So everything, you know, it's about making faith move. Be courageous. Fearing no evil. Again, the weapons may form, but they shall not prosper. You can't let the looks on the enemy's face. You can't allow the things that they're going to say to stop you from going after what it is that you need to. That, I mean, you're just going to have to be brave about it and move on it, knowing that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. All things, not some things, but all things you can do through Christ who gives you strength. Again, silence is golden. He that keepeth his tongue keepeth his life. It's not everything that you should share with people, especially before it comes to maturity. There are some people that you can share with. It's like not that you can't tell anybody. But again, it's you have to know the person that you're doing this to. And, and sometimes even though you may say you know somebody, you think you know somebody, but you really don't know that person well enough. Because we may, anybody can say, oh, I'm not jealous, I'm not envious. But maybe it's only because an opportunity was not presented to somebody else that they wanted. Why they can say that. But if probably they're placed in a position where you get a position that they want or you get a relationship that they thought they should have had, then that's when you see people true colors. So it's like you can't really say, again, you just have to pray about it. I love to pray. I love to give God full control over the people in my life to just weed them off, pick them off. If they are not there for my highest good, let them go. Because a lot of people, you meet them and they come into your life, seem really good. And then before you know it, you know, I mean, speaking for myself, especially females, you don't have to be doing anything extra. But it's just something in you. You exude confidence. You, The things that you do and the way you do it. You'll be surprised the way you 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 blink your eyes, you, you know your your lips, you move your hands. Somebody is out there who wants to do that too, and they're jealous. You know, not all of us are vibrating on the same level. So this is why you have to pick your battle carefully. The people who you have in your life, where they are, where they are on the scale. It's like you can have maybe five people that you are friends with, but it's not all five that you can share the same thing with. There are certain people or a person that you may know, yeah, they can handle that when you have certain crisis or excitement, you know, that you can share that with. Not everybody. Because you're going to have a friend who maybe only wants to hear the bad news about your life and they oh I'm so sorry you know but then maybe they are rejoicing but then when you need to be encouraged there is somebody else you know so you have to know who you have in your life and how much of you you know can they handle how much of you can they handle because sometimes when you're trying to break out of that pit you're gonna have people who want to hold you back you know, that crab in a barrel mentality. So it's important to know the people you align with. Again, prior changes, everything. Give God control over your life so he can reveal. He will show you. And if you want him to remove them because you may not be able to do it, he will do that too. He will clean it up for you. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. God will bless you more. You know, so whatever it is that you're building, you're working on, from the pit to the palace, 
the Bible didn't say that Joseph complained even with the unfair treatment. He went to the prisons and he still helped people. He was a honorable man. He would not sleep with his, his, his boss wife and she told lies on him and they threw him in, in jail and all of that. And he never, he never once, the Bible never say he complained to God, why me? Why me? And it's like God honors that. Again, sometimes the, the inconveniences of life, it's like you start in a company and you start at the bottom. And you may say, but I have better skills, qualities. But it's because for where you are going, God wants you to be so humble that you can manage when you get to the top. Because we have seen it over and over. Power in the wrong hands, it's devastating. It's catastrophic. It's abusive and it's toxic. So when you can start from a place of humble beginning and you don't complain, you do what you have to do every day to the best of your ability. Because it could be that in the future, God wants you to have your own company. So you starting from the bottom in this company, instead of you complaining, why me, why this, da 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 da, and all of this stuff. When you have your own company, when especially when you're just starting out, and to, to cut down on your overhead and your expenses, you may have to be the janitor. You will have to be everything. Head cook and bottle washer. You name it, you got it. Depending on the business you have, when people call out, when they, when they don't show up, when they try to sabotage you, because they think you're making money and, and, and look at you and they're jealous and they decide to walk away from you, leave you. They think that if they walk away, it's going to leave you flat on your face. You won't know what to do. But you know how to use a broom. You know how to sit at that desk to type, to do things for yourself. So this is why it's so important to be able to master yourself in different areas. Do not complain about humble or small beginnings because nothing you go through will be wasted. It can be wasted if you complain and if you walk away instead of God show me, teach me what I don't see because right now I'm in a place where I don't understand it, but I trust you. I trust you. And see, when you do things from your heart and you love what you do, people will admire that. I mean, you, sometimes you don't even know who is watching, right? And that is how from the pit to the palace, God sees your work. He sees your heart and he will bless you more. He will bless you more. Yeah. And see, the thing is, this card's been coming out a few times. God, he does not play about you. You will fear no evil. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it to the will, the glory of God. You do not need to fear any evil. Because when, when God says yes and amen, he gives you that stamp of approval, he's going to make a way for you. He's going to make a way for you, even if it's not smooth all the way. You get hiccups, doors slam in your face, people tell you no. He does not play about you because what he has for you, it is for you. It's for you and you only. So this is why even though Joseph, his brothers, they tried to do him the ultimate, they had no idea that one day God was setting Joseph up. So one day he would have to feed them, provide for them, take care of them. And see, the dream, it did come to pass. They had to bow down. And I'm sure they remember that. I'm sure they remember that. Can you imagine 
they sold him into slavery nobody heard about him after that nobody that's a secret that they kept even though his father mourned they watched their father cried and they kept that secret to themselves and then one day they had no food in their country and they had to end up going looking for food not realizing that the same person the same person they sold into slavery that they hated would be the hand to feed them you see how god is he does not play about you everything that he has for you it will come to pass and yes the enemies will be your footstool they will have to watch you eat i mean i don't know how they live with themselves after that i have no idea i mean i don't think i never read that they confessed to their dad what they really did even after they moved but wow what a secret to live with and he forgave them he forgave them the bible says oh no man nothing but to love him love them joseph forgave his brothers because god's been testing joseph all along even in the prison he did not complain he was helpful he helped the other prisoners he you know he was there carrying out duties you know as if he worked there he was when when other slaves had dreams he was he was interpreting the dreams for them and even though he told them look put a word in for me they left they didn't remember him until the appointed time until the appointed time so it is so important so important to hold steadfast to God's promises and his plans for your life not what people says but what God says about you yes yeah, so whatever you're working on i can do all things through christ silence is golden and then we have the eight of pentacles again working whatever you're working on is this your own business you know she's decorating the cake you master in your craft perfecting your skill whatever you're working on again whatever your hands find to do do it to the glory of god god is your boss yes a person may write their sign your check but god is your boss because he seen your heart are you complaining are you disgruntled you're not satisfied So God see whatever you're doing you're merry you're doing it with a smile and he blesses that whatever it is that you want to build and work on spirit is saying do that in silence It's like if you're working on something with the 8 of cups here and you have people trying to speak negatively into your life it's like walk away from what no longer serves you some of you you are called to maybe in the past this could be confirmation you may have worked on something build it build up something and you are called to walk away from it into something new brand new ace of pentacles god has another offer for you another stable offer because this is what i'm telling you it's like when god see that you're doing something and you're pouring yourself into it you love it he has something bigger something greater for you because you master that and now he can promote you i mean this as above so below yes it's like god wants you to walk away from something you know two of pentacles maybe you had to juggle for a while he has something better for you four of swords he want you to lay something to rest to walk away from it is like moving in silence into whatever it is that he's calling you to do. Yeah. It's like anything that's causing conflict, 
Maybe you're in, in, in a place where there's a lot of drama. People want to one-up you, want to win at all costs. A lot of gossip and backstabbing. It's like you have no time for it. But for a lot of you, you're going to be victorious. You're going to win this battle because you're going to get this offer. Maybe a lot of people are coming up wanting this position. Whatever this stable offer is, you could have been having competition, but you're going to win. People are going to have to walk away. Yeah, the Hierophant, you know, is like, yeah, the stamp of approval. God says, yes, that's the seal. For some of you, you're called into ministry. Your call is a, there's a higher calling out there for your life. Some of you, it's a contract that you're going into as well. Yeah, Ace of Wands, a brand new creative spark again, another Ace. This is coming from the hands of God. Brand new beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So a lot of you, this is going to lay. A lot of things to rest. You're up in your head. Nine of swords. Conflict. Can't sleep. Anxious. Yeah, you're born to lead. You're born to lead. You know, maybe you're up in your head thinking, what should you do? It's like there is not even an, a thought. You shouldn't even be thinking about this, this hard. Because you know that it's only what you do for God will last. And if God is telling you and he's making a way for you to move on to something else, then it must be that he has everything outlined for you. Again, you're called to lead, probably to guide, to direct, to motivate, to inspire people as well. So even if you already worked on something where you poured a lot of your heart into, you may have to walk away. But again, a lot of us is like your seed planters is like, you're not meant to lay a root in an area. This is, we're just passing through. So, yes, God has something else for you. You're born to lead. Something that's going to bring you a lot of satisfaction, nine of cups. You know, it's like you're going to drop all these burdens and then you're going to have this stability, king or queen of pentacles. Yeah, ten of pentacles. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. So it's like, you know, you can do all things through Christ. It's believing that. Believing that. Knowing that. It's the knowing that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. So from the pit to the palace, you know, from the pit to the palace, it's moving on into what God has for you. Because what he has for you, it's for you. And nobody can take it away. Nobody you know, thoughts, you're thinking about what to do, what to do. Again, a lot of you, you have a creative project. You're a painter. It's like you need to get out of your head and get it on the paper or over the canvas, whatever you use. You're going to get the support, the community. You're going to get the support that you need. He's going to provide people. He's going to bless you more. You're going to get the stability. Again, concern. Get out of your head. Stop stressing about it. Stop worrying about this change. You know, it's like with the bad health at the back, it, is it worth it? You know? Yeah, it's like you're up in your head thinking about something that God already says. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a contract. You know, marriage is also, it could be a contract as well. God will bless you more. You're gonna, he's gonna solidify that. Yeah. Mm -mm, the distant horizon. And I love it where, you know, the anchor is like, you're, you're moving away. You're not stagnant anymore. You know, it's like from the pit to the palace, setting sail, moving forward, moving forward. Look, toil and labor in the reverse. Yeah, it's like leaving that stress. You know, this is doing something over and over monotonously, not getting satisfaction. I mean, it's, it's like working in a plant, a factory, not that anything is wrong with it. 
but it's like you're not satisfied you're not happy it's like god has something better for you so it's like where he's taking you you don't have to work so hard because god he already made a way out of no way for you this is from the pit to the palace from the pit to the palace for you Ooh, i love that i love that for you yeah it's like poverty to the family room you know to be an official person the gift i'm telling you great fortune from the pit to the palace the house can't make it up the child new beginning yeah so it's like get out of your head with all this imprisonment and all of this stuff it's like god has great plans in store for you that's what he has for you wow i love that you will fear no evil wherever you're going whatever you're doing do not fear any evil because god is with you and because he's with you is for you and he's against anybody who come against you god is against your enemies he's fighting to protect you he's making peace with people who make peace with you and he's making war with people who are at war with you that's what you need to know god is fighting for you he's fighting for you wow don't fear no evil god don't play about you see death even if they send death to you it cannot take you out because you will fear no evil you will fear no evil the ace of cups is right here yeah god's love is all over you he's showering you with blessings new beginnings <laughs> yeah wow fear no evil like i said even if they send death to you god controls everything you're covered you are loved you're loved by divine i may be talking to a queen of swords you are intelligent you're very sharp, very witty. It's like you can see through the shenanigans, the nonsense. Head over heart, I'm talking about. Come correct or don't come at all kind of person. You will fear no evil. You will fear no evil. Wow, yeah. It's like that's the peace you have. You can put your sword down, you know, and, and play your instrument. You know, it's like make a joyful noise unto the Lord, for he is good. You focus on God, God, he takes care of you. Look, the sun, I'm telling you, this is the clarity that you're getting right now. Everything is exposed. This is why... You will fear no evil because God will show you. I mean, do you see like the deer? Look at, you know, it's like, <laughs> you see it. You see it. And God shows you stuff. He shows you if you have any opposition, anything that's coming up against you. He shows it to you. Wow, he protects you. A lot of abundance. Again, you will fear no evil. God doesn't play about you. The sun is about abundance, prosperity. It's life. It's vitality. It's wish fulfillment. It's new beginnings. Yeah, eight of pentacles. I'm telling you. <laughs> we start with eight of two different decks. Eight of pentacles here. Eight of pentacles here. Master in your craft. You will fear no evil. God does not play about you. I'm telling you. What is for you, it's for you. And nobody can take it away. Nobody. Nobody. There could be a queen of wands. See all the spooky stuff flying around. Who could be, again, five of swords. Competition, jealousy. Want to win at all costs. But they will have to walk away. This energy will have to walk away. 
God does not play about you. He does not play about you. I'm telling you, he doesn't play about you. Wow. Mm. I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. Wow, God does not play about you. Look, within the next few months, listen to your intuition. Again, trust your intuition. Divine is speaking. For some of you, you're going to have big, happy changes. Yep, get more information. So you may need to do research. Whatever you're going through, there's going to be a recovery. Recovery, you're going to get something. For some of you, you know, you will fear no evil. God does not play about you. So whatever you're worrying about, are you worrying about the opposition? Are you worrying about people taking out what you're working on? God is saying it's unlikely that that will ever happen. It's unlikely. The enemy will not be able to overcome whatever this is that you're working on. Wow, I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. I love it for you. I love it for us. Look, don't stop. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're going after, do not stop. For some of you, it's within the next few weeks. You're going to have peaceful resolution and a yes. Yes. Wow. Spirit is saying you are ready. I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. Until next.